On the outside, we've got our CNC aluminum heat sinks. And then the blue part is a 3D printed TPU gasket. And then in the middle, we did the water box out of the clear resin on the Form 4 printer. And all together, it just looks awesome. You can actually see the water there in the middle. And how this works is pretty simple. We're gonna have all four ESCs mounted on the outsides on the aluminum heat sinks using a thermal pad. And then that's gonna heat up the aluminum, which is gonna warm up the water inside, which will hopefully absorb all the heat generated by the ESCs and keep the system nice and cool. We're now gonna test how well this water box actually works. First we did the bench test with no water in the chamber and then we filled it up with ice cold water and ran the same bench test again. In initial testing it seems like the water cooling was definitely working by keeping the ESCs with water in the chamber quite a lot cooler across the board. I realized the water cooling could be even better if the water was circulating inside the little tank. So I designed these tiny little pumps and I 3D printed them out of clear resin on the Form 4 printer. So this is the finished pump and the water comes in here through the front and then inside there is a little fan blade connected to the motor. So that spins really fast and then it pushes the water out of the nozzle here. I'm gonna plug it in and test it for the first time now with this little mug of water. Whoa, it's quite noisy. Look at that. <laughs> That's actually making quite a mess. <laughs> I've now put the pump inside the water chamber. You can see it there and I've closed this up. So now I'm gonna plug it in and we'll see if it actually does anything. Whoa, look at that. That looks like it's working brilliantly. I've just finished a print of this incredible new resin they have. It is the silicone 40A and this stuff is awesome. So as you can see here, I've got these little plugs and these are gonna go in the water box where you fill it up with water. And it makes a perfect seal. And I actually tried printing these plugs in TPU at first, but because it's two times as hard, it didn't work properly and would sometimes leak through here. But this is perfect because it's so nice and soft and squishy. Of course, the next step was some test flying. And these flights actually went pretty well. The ESC temperatures were much lower and we were much more confident that they wouldn't fail in the air anymore. 